When putting on the modus foot, it's recommended you do this either barefooted or with a sock on. I'm going to go ahead and take off my left shoe now. The last thing you need to do before you're ready to get started with your therapy is actually put on the modus foot. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through step by step how to do that, but every time you hit begin therapy with your modus foot, you'll get to this screen here. This is an activity that walks you through step by step how to do the donning process, as well as provide some assistance in doing that. Let's go ahead and get started. An important element of using the modus foot is having a good position and location in your home to use it. There's a couple of elements that are important with this. One, you're going to need a table or a countertop that you can set the Moda screen on that you'll be able to reach and touch it. Two, you need to have a chair that allows you to sit over the Moda's foot so that your leg and your knee is at close to a 90 degree angle. A dining room chair or an office chair will work perfectly. Now let's prepare the foot to be put on. We're going to undo some of the straps so that we can put our foot into the controller. The first strap we'll undo is this calf strap. Go ahead and find where the edge of it is on the foot. Then grasp it and undo the Velcro. Next, let's loosen the straps that go over the top of the foot. You'll find that there are four straps that hold the foot together. There are two towards the ankle and two across the toe. Go ahead and undo the top two and then one of the bottom straps. Now that those straps are undone, let's move this top foam pad out of the way so that the modus foot is completely available for our foot to be rested on it. Wait for the footbed to pump up so that the bed is parallel to the floor. Once you've undone the straps of the foot while you're doing the donning video, it will get to a point where it provides assistance and this screen appears. At that point, you can put your foot onto the footbed. It will provide the assistance to make it a little bit easier to secure your foot in place. It can be helpful to use your free hand to guide your foot into place if you have trouble moving it. It's important that when you put your foot on the footbed that you have your heel as far back as you can and that your foot is firmly and flat along the bottom of the bed. Now let's secure our foot in place. The first thing you'll want to do is tighten the calf cuff so you can bring that Velcro around. You'll want to secure the Velcro so that your calf stays in a good position while you're using the modus foot. During this part of the donning process, you'll hear the pump in the modus screen come on. That's just it regulating the assistance that's making it a little easier to put the modus foot on. Totally normal. The last thing we need to do is secure our foot to the footbed. We'll do this by placing that top foam pad over the top of our foot and grabbing that strap from the toe and bringing it across. Then we'll take either of the straps from behind the ankle and bring them across as well. It's important that when you do this, you have it done tightly so that there's not too much wiggle between the bottom of your foot and the pad. When we put the top foam pad on our foot, we tighten it down firmly so that there's no wiggle room between the bottom of our foot and the modus foot. Now that we've got the modus foot on, we're ready to start our therapy. Go ahead and hit play on the first game, Thermometer. And just like that, we're off to the races. 